is used to help keep us safe. Camby Brown joins us live from the Sacramento Auto Museum, uh, checking it out. Hey, Camby. So we don't do anything at the museum that you wouldn't be able to do yourself besides being here before it opens. So as you saw, I was when I was cranking that little horn there. Your kids or you, because I really enjoy doing that, have the chance to do this as well. Now you can see the horse behind me and the fireman sitting up there. This is so unusual to think that really this is sort of how firefighters started. So you guys just got this new exhibit, and you have a lot of different fire trucks from different eras. Right from right here in Sacramento, I saw a Sacramento fire truck, a Dixon fire truck. How hard is it for you guys to acquire all of this? Well, we have a great community, a car culture community out here. And when we work on an exhibit, we reach out to the community and find out who's got a uh, vehicle that will represent the story we want to tell. So, what we have here from the Hook and Ladder, um, Pioneer Hook and Ladder Society and the Sacramento Fire Museum are representations of fire trucks throughout the early 1800s all the way up to the 1940s. And fire trucks follow very much, obviously, the evolution of the automobile. And what's interesting. Interesting about fire trucks is who doesn't love fire trucks? Right. But they were essential to growing cities. So as our cities became more denser and more populated and buildings became bigger, the first thing we had to do, the biggest threat was fire. And Sacramento is known for burning down many a time. So fire trucks and fire equipment were very important. And there you can see the Dixon fire truck. You might be able to come out here and see one from your city. Let me take you back over here because it's interesting to see how the turnouts have changed. And when we're talking about the turnouts, that is what, when the siren goes off for the firefighters, this is what they put on. Nowadays, it weighs about 50 pounds. They have to be in great shape, not only to rescue people, but just to wear those turnouts. But this is how it started. And you can see this one right here, the longer one from the 1900s. This is a, a rubberized one. And you know, a lot of times back then, they weren't wearing those face masks that we see everybody wearing now. And this one right here is from the 1950s, 1960s. And so you get the chance to see this from all different decades. How long is this exhibit going to be here, Delta? It's through the end of May. Uh, Memorial Weekend Monday will be the last day for the exhibit. And in addition to the fire trucks, as you noted, there's lots of fire memorabilia. And one of the fun things, too, are on the walls are pictures of fire stations throughout Sacramento of how they look then and what they are now. Yeah. Some of them are restaurants, bars, uh, community <laughs> centers. They've evolved a little bit. And you might be surprised that one of the buildings uh, being a fire department. Yeah, in uh, fact, in one of those is right down the street from the station in our hood in West Sacramento, uh, that new Burgers and Brew that opened up. And they kept a lot of the, like, the doors where the uh, fire trucks would go out. They kept that. So it's really unique to see. I have had a great time being able to check this out. So I cannot imagine how kids are going to like it. Not only do they get the chance to do the uh, bell, uh, but they can also do, uh, I'm sorry, they can do the bell, which we didn't show you, but also do the horn, too, that they can come on out here and see what that's like. Guys, that's awesome. Love that it, is so much fun. So much fun.